Hello, welcome to another Butterfly Interim Animation 2 tutorial. Today we're going to redo the slide keyframe tutorial because Butterfly has a new update that makes it easier to use slide keyframes. Uh, in the original tutorial we started with these clouds drifting by in the background and I'm going to skip that today because there's a brand new simpler slide keyframe tutorial that you can watch for just simple motion um, for one cell and one layer. Instead we're going to focus on this house layer where we have each of these objects sliding by in turn. Uh, to get started I'm going to turn off the car so that it's not a distraction and then on the house layer I'm going to erase all of the existing keyframes. I'm going to choose just keyframes so that I don't erase my drawings. So on this layer now we've got one, two, three, four, five, five or six cells that are still drawings of objects and we want to have those slide by and then at frame five we've got a little short sequence of cells with a rocket taking off. So let's use slide keyframes to move these by one at a time. We're going to start by adding a hold keyframe so that when we play the animation it doesn't loop through all of our cells. So we're going to say add keyframe and then choose the hold keyframe and then we tell it to hold on cell zero which is our house. Okay now when I play the animation the house stays where it is. It doesn't loop around with all those other cells. So we're going to move to frame one now and add a keyframe and that's going to be our slide keyframe. So we start with the angle and we want it to move from right to left which is in this direction. So we're going to set it at an angle of 180. The speed is good. We'll leave that at 15. And then we want a start position. We want it to start uh, if, if we have start zero, that's right in the center of the screen, we want it to start just off the left hand side of the screen. So let's say about 320. Alright, we'll hit OK. And now if I play the animation, there's our house sliding by. Okay, so now let's add the store. Um, what we're going to do is wait until the frame just after the house has moved off screen. And then we're going to say add keyframe. And now we're going to add a hold and now we're going to switch to cell 1. Now it's actually switched to the store but you can't see it because it's off the left hand side of the screen so what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit so that we can see that. Now another thing I should mention if you try zooming and your top screen does not change scale that's because of a new option in the new update. Uh, if I go to the options screen you'll see this zoom top screen check mark. You want that checked if you want the top screen to change scale when you zoom. Otherwise, only the bottom, sc uh, the bottom screen will scale. Okay, so back to our animation here. I've added a hold keyframe, which causes the house to change to the store. And then we're going we're to step forward one frame to 44 and add the slide keyframe. Now we don't need to mess with any of these settings because the motion is exactly the same. Start at the right hand side and slide to the left hand side. And so we're just going to repeat that for the next cell. So we say add keyframe, hold on cell 2 which is the castle. And you can see that the castle is wider than the store. So when it switches there it's still off screen. So what we need to do is just make sure that we start that a little bit later. So I'm going to move this keyframe forward a bit so that make sure the store is far enough off screen so that when you switch to the castle it's also off screen. And then we add our slide keyframe and there we have the, sli the castle sliding by. And finally let's go ahead and we'll skip over the jungle and go straight for the rocket and the zoo. We'll skip the zoo. So now we've got our rocket and we add the slide keyframe. There we go. Now, what about the rocket? The rocket's other cells. We wanted the rocket to actually launch as it slides by instead of just sitting there. In order to do that, what we need to do is change that hold keyframe. So we're going to go back to the same frame and say replace keyframe. And instead of using a hold, we're going to use a play. So that tells it instead of holding on one cell, we want to start playing at cell 5 and play at a certain speed. So rate 10 is probably pretty good. Let's see how that looks. 
So now as we're stepping forward, see it's actually playing those cells at a rate of 10 frames a second, which means every three frames it changes. Okay, so now we'll go back and we'll do one last cell. We'll add the, we'll go back in and let's put the, um, let's see, let's put the zoo back in there. And then step forward and add the slide keyframe. And I'll go back to the zero and reset my zoom. And now if we play, there you have all the objects sliding by. And I'll turn on my car so you can see it. Now one last thing, you might notice that uh, the very first frame there's a glitch because that hold keyframe is before the slide keyframe and so that causes the house to appear right in the center. In order to fix that, um, all we need to do is we can place this keyframe and we'll just turn the opacity down on that first frame so that it doesn't show up. And there you have it, how to use multiple cells in conjunction with slide keyframes in Butterfly. Thanks for watching.